Welcome to PropPro's smart suite of uh, calculator systems and tools. Um, our video, this video will be focusing on the commercial property valuation calculator, the do's and don'ts, the correct valuation formula, and um, we hope you enjoy your property genie automating the process for you. So let's go to the calculator itself. Um, you will note we have nine input fields only. From this, we will be able to calculate all cash flow scenarios, your net present value of future cash flows, internal rate of return, and modified internal rate of return, which are all essential formula for funders, investment analysts, etc. Um, I will show you, you can time me, in less than 40 seconds, I'm able to produce a detailed commercial property valuation, whether it's industrial, retail, or whatever the case may be. So let's start off with a live example. In our input area, we'll see growth monthly rental income. Let's um, assess at 300,000. All monthly costs, 30,000. Monthly maintenance provision, let's uh, choose 4,000. Vacancy percentage, let's go at 5%. Your envisaged cap rate, we can start off with 9%. Annual rental increment, let's say 6%. Current funders interest rate, let's choose uh, 9%. I missed that one, 9 Deposit value percentage, let's say a prospective buyer would like to put 40% down. And annual expected growth, let's choose a conservative 4%. At this point you have completed your entire valuation process. And I'll take you to your report sheets immediately we perform 5, 7, 10, 12, up to 20 years. But let's have a look at the 10-year report, which is the most commonly used. You will notice from your input fields, we have carried all the values across so that you can view it on any of the report sheets. Below that is the value of your property based on the required cap rate, which you have input at, at 9%. Your net monthly income before vacancy, after vacancy, your net annual income. Below that, we have auto-calculated your mortgage based on the 40% uh, deposit, which the prospective client would like to um, input at this stage. The term 10 years, annual interest rate at 9%, and that's what the monthly repayment would be. Below that, again, we have auto-calculated your cash flow for the duration of this valuation, this 10-year valuation uh, purpose. You'll note all your income and the incremental income based on the um, annual rental increment at 6%, your mortgage, your net income, and all your cash flows. The most important formula for all funders Portfolio managers, fund managers, etc., are net present value, internal rate of return, modified internal rate of return. Now, these have been automated for you. They've been calculated right across all cash flow periods. And the importance of net uh, present value would be that it has to be a positive number, otherwise, it is a negative investment. Internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return must be above the hurdle rate. Your hurdle rate is naturally the banker's funder's rate. If they're not above that, again, it is a negative investment. Now, the importance of looking at it cannot be understated. Fund managers and funders themselves will look at a targeted, in particular, a modified internal rate of return. They'll look at it target, they will try and achieve a certain amount for their portfolio. So the portfolio mandate might suggest that they will only purchase 
additional commercial retail property if they achieve perhaps a 16.95% modified internal rate of return. So we can see in this instance we are sitting below that level and we would have to engage with a, a prospective uh, seller about altering the um, cap rate. Now we just go back to the input sheet and we have a look at our, our cap rate um, figure which we input at 9% so maybe if we alter that to 9,5% automatically it alters the value, the cash flows and all the necessary formula and we can see how it has affected the modified internal rate of return at 16.98% now and it will fall within the mandate of the fund manager. Um, at this point, it may be prudent to explain the difference between internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return. The IRR itself has a flaw in the formula in that positive cash flows, when, when the project becomes positive, all the cash flows then get calculated at its own internal rate that it has generated in the earlier years of the investment project. Whereas the modified internal rate of return, we are able to cap the RRR formula and state that all positive cash flows may only generate the same as the banker's funders rate. In other words, it is conceivably possible that surplus cash can be invested in your own debt thereby securing a 9% per annum um, return in this instance whereas it is not conceivably possible that you can generate the same amount of percentage return in your internal rate of return on positive cash flows so modern investment theory makes use of MRRR mostly this is the most important valuation factor for your commercial properties. Um, it is also at this point important to know that, that there are um, people that make use of past sales stats for valuation purposes and we cannot disagree with that more. Past sales in a totally different economic climate, different interest rate cycles, um, there are so many internal sales, in other words, um, a, a, a seller selling from his own company to his trust um, for different, for varying reasons, etc., that we cannot use past sales stats as a, an indication onto what the property's um, value is at, at the present moment in the present climate. Same can be said for where there is a property that is vacant, it does not have a lease agreement. We would perform exactly the same valuation technique, except we might take 10% off the value if we think that it will take a year for, for the, um, the particular commercial property to, to secure some tenants in the future. So the valuation technique for empty buildings and with lease agreements are exactly the same, except you cater for the vacancy. Um, we perform this, um, these commercial models, these commercial uh, financial models up to 20 year period. So you can see how the, the um, values change over time and you can see what is your best fit. Your exit values have been calculated for you automatically. You'll notice the exit value at each junction that's also in your input sheet. The exit values have been based on your, your annual expected growth. Now, you can change any factor at any given stage uh, to suit any potential buyer. If you want to do a, a, a cash on cash return, you would simply put a 100% deposit value percentage and see how it alters your internal rate of return and modified internal rate of return. You can also see how important gearing is and why fund managers will mostly look at a 50% gearing when they are evaluating their portfolios that's normally within their mandate. So on 
A 50% gearing, the same example, we would have a look at the 10 year period and we will see that our modified internal rate of return is sitting at 15.71%, internal rate 16.88. Again, alter your annual increment. If you've got a higher annual rental increment, let's say at 8%, we enter that and automatically your financial rate that has all been calculated for you. Um, we also do have uh, the development um, property valuation calculator as well as the business valuation um, calculator. All three of these valuation calculators are on web app um, as well. For your convenience, they, they may be used on cell phone and iPads. And um, I can just quickly show you an example if we had to look at a report history on a commercial let's have a look for a completed one he has a completed one it automatically produces a pdf report for you over all the um, time periods the the five-year model all the way down to the 20-year model so we've got it all for you i hope you have enjoyed um watching the commercial property valuation calculator and um, we have many others available for you so should you wish to have this suite of calculators please contact us at propscience at propro247.com or go to our website where you will find um, our contact details i thank you for watching commercial property valuation calculator by propro I hope you enjoy your day further. Good day.